course it will. My biotechnology class taught me exactly how to re-encode a frog's brain with that laser. That's how I'm gonna win, win the neighborhood's frog race tomorrow. Well, you can't use Jim Bob. Won't use Jim Bob. Now give me the laser. If I can shine this laser straight through Charlie's ear, it will go into his brain and reorganize the nectoral atoms. Then I will be in complete control of his brain with this remote controller. <laughs> Got it? Worked on my robots. Now time for the laser. Now, as I am shining the light through his ear, I am rearranging his nectoral atoms. Okay, now I am in complete control of his brain. Nothing is happening. Shut up! Oh, this, this is my tracking device system. I've inserted tracking devices to all of our pets. And this satellite right here connects to all of that and feeds it into this computer. Is that what you're learning in computer class? Oh uh, yeah, one of the things. <laughs> well, I don't want you to use one of those devices on Jimbot. I won't. Uh, well, we're, we're, we're doing something different with Charlie. I got him hooked up to an updated version of Mindstorms. Don't worry, I got him hooked up to my program. And when I press this button, I will be in complete control of his brain. Process. This is why I've never let you use Jim Bob. Technology.
Sometimes he's not the answer for everything. I guess it's just time to start th seeing things your way. Who let the frog Can I keep the next frog we catch? As long as you promise not to rearrange the atomic structure anymore. 